The Tuskegee Airmen, or Red Tails as they were called, were the first African-American military aviators in the United States Armed Forces. Before the Tuskegee Airmen, no African-American had been a U.S. military pilot. And today, we're going to share with you the story of two brothers from Steubenville, Ohio, who not only served together in World War II, but did so as Tuskegee Airmen. So join us today as we honor Jerome and John Ellis Edwards on this episode of History and Relics. Three government initiatives took place between 1938 and 1940 that were instrumental in paving the way for African Americans to participate in the nation's war defense and to become military pilots. On December 27, 1938, President Roosevelt announced an experimental civilian pilot training program involving over a dozen colleges. The Civilian Pilot Training Act of 1939 was later passed in June 1939. The legislation included a provision that had been inserted by Representative Everett Dirksen, which called for the program not to exclude anyone on the basis of race. Congress then passed the Selective Service and Training Service Act, which was signed into law by President Roosevelt on September 16, 1940. Among the provisions within this act were Sections 3A and 4A, which essentially afforded any person, regardless of color, an opportunity to volunteer and that there shall be no discrimination. Also in 1940, the War Department announced that the Civil Aeronautics Authority, in cooperation with the U.S. Army, would begin development of colored personnel for the aviation service. This paved the way for African Americans to train as pilots and vital support personnel. The first aviation class had 13 cadets on July 19, 1941. The Tuskegee Institute furnished the facilities for the aircraft and personnel. Successful cadets then transferred to the segregated Tuskegee Army Airfield, or TAAF, to complete the Army Air Corps' pilot training. Within a few months and after the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor in December 1941, the U.S. entered into World War II. The 99th Pursuit Squadron, later known as the 99th Fighter Squadron, was the first black flying squadron and the first to deploy overseas to North Africa in April 1943 and later to Sicily. The 332nd Fighter Group, which originally included the 100th, 301st, and 302nd Fighter Squadrons, was the first black flying group. It deployed to Italy in early 1944. And now let us introduce you to Jerome and John Ellis Edwards. The Steubenville, Ohio brothers were Tuskegee Airmen who flew in World War II. Jerome was born on December 26, 1918, and John on May 17, 1922, to Edward and Willie Edwards. After graduating Steubenville High School, Jerome attended West Virginia State College, followed by his brother John a couple of years later. Both signed up for the aviation program at West Virginia State, one of the first and best colleges to participate in the civilian pilot training program as part of the war effort. Jerome graduated in 1940 and was sent to Tuskegee, Alabama for advanced training. He was commissioned as a second lieutenant in 1942 and assigned to the 99th Fighter Squadron and 332nd Fighter Group. However, Jerome was killed on May 7, 1943 after his P-40 Warhawk crashed shortly after takeoff during an advanced training mission in Oscoda, Michigan. Jerome's death was the first in Oscoda of a Tuskegee Airman. John could have been honorably discharged due to the family hardship, but decided to honor his brother and remain in the service to complete the ultimate mission. John received his second lieutenant commission in 1944 and was also assigned to the 99th Fighter Squadron and 332nd Fighter Group. 
and was sent to Ramatelli Air Force Base in Italy, where he flew combat and bomber escort missions with the 12th and 15th Air Forces. John soon became the squadron section leader, and during a mission in April 1945, the Tuskegee Airmen, now referred to as the Red Tails, brought down 12 enemy planes over Nazi-held territories. John single-handedly shot down two German Messerschmitts that day, earning him the Distinguished Flying Cross Medal. The success of John and the other Red Tails was paramount in President Harry S. Truman's decision to desegregate the military in 1948. After World War II, he flew multiple combat missions during the Korean War in the F-86 Sabre Jet. After achieving the rank of Lieutenant Colonel, he was honorably discharged from the service and later became an announcer for a radio station in Washington, D.C., and eventually retired in Los Angeles. John died on June 3, 1979, at the age of 57. He and his brother Jerome are buried at the Union Cemetery, Beatty Park, in Steubenville, Ohio. John was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal posthumously in 2007. Today, the brothers are forever remembered and honored in Steubenville with a mural painted by artist Claude Rustin Baker in 2019. It can be found at the intersection of Washington Street and North Commercial Street. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our program. If you like our content, we ask that you give us a thumbs up, a like, share with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so you always know when our new content is published. And all of this costs nothing but means a lot to us and keeps us growing. You may also leave us a tip if you choose. The address is provided here on your screen and a link is provided in the description area below. So until next time, everyone, this one is history. Hey, and be sure to check out our eBay store under ID History and Relics. We're now featuring channel merchandise, starting with our new logo magnet. They're only $5.50 and net proceeds go towards supporting our channel.